Hello, this is Warner from Kongju National University. I would like to make a presentation about how to use mind map for educational purpose. There will be three use cases which is available using mind map for educational field. The first one is using mind map as a content content delivery tool and the second use case is using mind map as a learning activity and the third one is using mind map as a knowledge portal uh, before i proceed to the main presentation i would like to introduce mind map briefly because some of you may not heard about heard about it mind map is a way of describing a subject starting from main subject or image and rad radiationally propagating with similar or related word or images to outside. It uses, it uses different co colors and images uh, for description. And Tony Buzan insisted that mind map is clearer and easier to understand the subject because it, it is very similar to uh, how human brain uh, recognize the subject. And uh, there are many softwares which helps to draw mind maps. Some are applications and some are web-based system. OK mind map is the system I would like to use. It has some very good features. It is open source and pre-educational usage. And the second one is is close is it supports close browsing. You can use most updated version browse, web browsers and it runs okay like Chrome and Firefox and Safari and uh, Internet Explorer after nine. Uh, because it is it's using uh, a SVG technology, which is the uh, main drawing component of HTML5. That is all possible. And uh, it supports collaborative learning activity. We try to up to 40 students access the same map using their web browsers. And it was very successful. Uh, theoretically, you can do you can do collaboration more with more than that, but uh, if students get larger, the interface is hard to control. It also supports support SNS integration. You can bring the Facebook, Twitter, and delicious information as your mind map node. 